Hello everyone, it's Anthony here from Ant's Drone and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a spherical panoramic and final cut well, not Final Cut, Photoshop. It's actually pretty easy. As far as I know, Photoshop cannot stitch together spherical panoramic images. Uh, therefore, you will need to do that in a different application. I am using a spherical or a panoramic from my DJI Phantom 4 Pro. And luckily the Phantom 4 Pro uh, in the DJI Go app have the ability to do that for you. You wanna get that flat image from the spherical panoramic and you want to import that to your Mac or airdrop it from your iPhone if you are using a drone. Get started here, we're gonna to go to the top where it says 3D, click that, go to spherical panorama and click import panorama. So once we've got our image selected, we're gonna open it up in here, you can leave all of this default. If you want, you can name it something different. I just hit okay. And here we go. Now you can preview it. So what I did is I added some saturation while the photo was still on my phone. And then I just imported it so that I didn't have to worry about that in Photoshop. One thing I do notice in Photoshop is that when you are editing the image, it looks blurry for some reason. I don't know if someone can help me correct that problem, but I noticed that when I upload it onto a website like Facebook, it actually looks clearer uh, than when it's inside of Photoshop. So now what we wanna do is we wanna export this image. So the way to do that is you're gonna wanna go back up to 3D um, and you're gonna wanna export it through the spherical panorama tab. Now, if you export it through the file tab here, it will not uh, put the metadata into the photo. And therefore, when you upload it on a platform that does 3D uh, 360 panoramic photos, it won't look right. It won't it won't have that effect. So you definitely want to do this through the 3D tab. Export panorama. And you want to give it a name. I'm going to call this one test panorama i guess because uh, i already did this and then you're going to want to save it once you save it this is what it's going to look like now don't be alarmed by this um this is still the flat image i know but like i said once you put this into a software that does panoramic images like facebook or another website, you will see that that panoramic effect. So this flat image file right here is the same thing as this. And it showed up like this on Facebook because we plugged in that metadata when we exported the image from Photoshop. And as you can see, like I said, it's a lot clearer on Facebook than it was inside of Photoshop. Not sure as to why, but hey, I'm not complaining. It came out amazing. So that is how you can make really cool 360 panoramas inside of Photoshop. In the future, I'll have how-to videos on how to make panoramic photos with your drone. Um, and maybe even with other cameras. So definitely stay tuned to Ant's Drone for more awesome content. Thank you for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to the channel for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.